Robots can be very useful in applications that might be too dangerous for humans. At the USC Viterbi Center for Advanced Manufacturing, we have developed Adams, a robot to do machine tending tasks. We are modifying this robot to perform disinfection tasks in public spaces, such as offices, labs, schools, hotels, and dorms. We are calling this Adams UV. Adams UV is a semi-autonomous mobile manipulator that uses a UV light wand mounted on a robot arm to reach spaces that cannot be treated by UV sources mounted on the mobile base. It can use a gripper to open drawers, closets, and pick up objects to perform a detailed sanitation on hard to reach surfaces. Adam's UV is controlled by a remote operator located far away from the risk zone. UV light is a proven disinfectant. Coronavirus on a surface can be killed when exposed to UV light of appropriate intensity for a sufficient amount of time. A robot can hold a UV wand over a surface and move it at the right speed. The robot can do this task consistently without making any mistake. This task will be physically taxing and risky for humans. People are already using mobile robots with a UV column to perform disinfection. Every surface in the line of sight can be treated using this method. However, most human inhibited spaces include occluded surfaces. UV light from the column won't reach such surfaces. For example, consider a keyboard on the desk or a coffee mug inside a drawer. We need to manipulate these objects before we can sanitize them using UV light. We've used ROS as a backbone to connect our mobile robot, robotic arm, and all the vision systems. There is a depth camera mounted on the wrist of the robotic arm. There are multiple cameras mounted on the sides of the mobile base. All of these cameras provide situational awareness for the user. The user manually drives the robot around using these cameras. As the robot approaches the area to disinfect, the user maps the local environment using the stereo camera. Then the user makes high level decisions as to which area to disinfect and what object to move. The robot automatically plans and executes these actions. The user can also intervene and take control of the robotic arm when necessary. In order to make a robot to do a series of complex tasks, keeping human in the loop is required. For example, something might fail during the task, or the robot might need some guidance in a cluttered area. That is why we have developed an intuitive user interface that lets people know what's going on around the robot. And this allows the user to give an appropriate high-level guidance in certain situations. Using Adam's UV, we can manipulate most of the objects and disinfect them. The semi-autonomous operation of the robot significantly reduces workload on the operator. Each operator can operate multiple such robots to disinfect a large area. We can use Adam's UV to perform dangerous tasks while the operator sits at a safe location. We believe that robots like Adam's UV can really help in deep disinfection of public spaces at such dire times while limiting exposure of the coronavirus to humans.